Artificial intelligence is transforming the world as we know today. From enabling autonomous driving cars to enhancing education systems and upgrading modern day processes. The technology is already well on its way to take over much of the tasks previously thought impossible. However, there might be a big problem looming over our heads that we are seemingly unaware of. Throughout humanity's history, there have always been a few amongst us that have used our progress as a means of destruction, and AI in the wrong hands can result in damages that were previously thought impossible. Take the example of the technology behind facial recognition. Your face is scanned by a camera and detected. It is then analysed by several nodal points by a computer and compared to your facial signature, a unique code of your facial structure, and it is decided whether it is you in front of the camera or not. The alarming part of this process revolves around the storage and security of this data. With facial recognition technology becoming widely adopted, your facial signature data could hold the information that is required to log into your phone. That will ultimately provide access to sensitive information including your messages, your financial details and private media. According to Norton Security, at least 117 million Americans have images of their face on one or more police databases. Moreover, according to a May 2018 report, the FBI has had access to 412 million facial images for searches. These numbers are clearly alarming and it should be no surprise by now that it is becoming relatively easy for the government to track the movement of its citizens. Amongst this backdrop, some people have constructed the hypothesis that AI is accelerating the move towards totalitarianism and digital dictatorships whereby complete monitoring and controlling of our behaviours is possible by a supreme authority. The author of 21 Lessons for 21st Century, Yuval Noah Harari, has something interesting to say about this. What will happen to politics in your country in 20 years when somebody in San Francisco or in Beijing knows the entire medical and personal history of every politician, every judge, and every journalist in your country, including all their sexual escapades, all their mental weaknesses, and all their corrupt dealings? Will it still be an independent country? Or will it become a data colony? In such a society, the law would ultimately be enforced by that supreme authority and they could have access to powerful robots and super-intelligent machines to achieve their means. Weapons of mass destruction, for instance, fully autonomous bomber drones, autonomous tanks and killer robot soldiers could currently be in development that could provide a nation's combat with superiority in war. What remains to be seen is whether these technologies are used for the people that they were built to supposedly defend or not.